Our guest speaker this evening is an iconic name in the interior design industry, known of course first of all for her avant-garde textile designs and now for interior design for which she has a wide range of uh, challenging projects that have come her way. A professor at the Royal College of Art, an inspirational tutor and lecturer at KLC, she's played a huge part this year in helping the students find their creativity. So it's wholly appropriate that she should be here this evening to present their diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, Sue Timney. Good evening. Um, there are many reasons why the KLC is the best school of interior design in London, and 60 of them are sitting here right now. So congratulations. <laughs> As you all know, you're leaving at a time of great change in our world. Um, however, creativity is the most exciting aspect of it, and this is the best time for creativity, believe me. This is when you can take the risks. After all, you're gonna be directly involved now in shaping up this new world that we're all entering. There's no doubt about that. Um, and in the words of a great man, William Morris, what is the point of design if not to give us hope? And this is what you represent, you really do. It's hope and belief in the future, so please believe in yourselves. My own experience when I left the Royal College as a student in the late 70s was not very easy either. I don't suppose it ever is. Um, I was given the Sanderson Travelling Award and to travel to Japan, which was fabulous was where I had always wanted to go and it was my dream come true. However, I needed a little bit of extra money at that time and so I went very humbly to the Nat West Bank and asked meekly for 200 pounds just to buy some paraphernalia, you know, cameras and another outfit or something. <laughs> <laughs> and they promptly turned me down which I felt very humiliated about because I'd, I thought I'd proved myself. I'd got a first in my degree and I'd got this honor and I, you know, I thought, oh, I really deserve another 200 pounds. Why don't you give me it? But no, they didn't. And um, I eventually borrowed 200 pounds from a very good friend who I will never forget. And I set off on my journey to Japan clutching my one list of names and addresses, hoping against hope something would happen. Anyhow, long story short, the visit was a great success and I secured uh, consultancy work with Issei Miyake, Yoji Yamamoto, and got a commission for uh, designing a restaurant in Tokyo's um, quite posh area um, of equivalent to Knightsbridge called Roppongi. Two years later, moving on, the same bank manager appeared and um, approached us. We were now officially Timney Fowler and doing very well, thank you, um, and wanted to know if he could give us perhaps a business loan or something. Anyhow, um, needless to say, you know what we told him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it certainly taught me to be independent and not to rely on anybody. And I suppose what, what, what I'm saying is, yes, banks were still getting their timing wrong then too, weren't they? <laughs> Anyhow, um, I'm in awe of Jenny and her setup, and I hopefully have, would like to continue supporting it on a level of creativity, if nothing else. I believe in the, the school. I think you're wonderful students. I love your effervescence, your belief the things you've given up to be here, I'm well aware of that too. You're a great bunch and, and out of it will come some amazing things. Your, your list of alumni is amazing. I was gonna, I asked Jenny earlier, give me a list of you know, who's done what, and it was so big, I'm just not gonna read it out. I'll be here all night. <laughs> but the list is endless, so you're following in great footsteps, all of you. And from now on, when you're asked, what do you make, you can proudly say that you make a difference. Um, or, if you want, in the words of Marilyn Monroe, who had a slightly different take on it, 
I don't care about the money, I just want to be wonderful. <laughs> well, I think, <laughs> I think we should try and be both, actually. I truly believe that good design is the hyphen that holds our whole world together. Don't forget that. Finally, I leave you with these thoughts from a poem by Christopher Logue called Come to the Edge. This makes me, it gets to my heart every time I hear it. Come to the edge. We might fall. Come to the edge. It's too high. Come to the edge. And they came and he pushed and they flew. Thank you. Nital Patel. And Katerina Sidiakova. Nick Spencer. Imogen Robarts. Tatiana Zabialova.